Hello and welcome back to the channel. You guys just saw the San Diego Toreros spring game earlier today. And now we're going to take a look at the Savannah State Tigers spring game in their 74,000 seat stadium. Great weather. It's third and 14 already. And this is a quarterback battle and a halfback battle as we see an incomplete pass downfield. But we have J.J. Barber on the white squad and Evan Barber at halfback on the white squad. They're teaming up and taking on the orange team led by Jeremy Carroll and MJ Gators. And there's a nice tackle for a loss right there for number seven, a non-subscriber player. Barber looking to throw it. He takes a shot deep down the field and that is received at the 15 yard line by Jarmel Lewis, number six. Not sure why I said received, but that's just what I'm gonna go with guys, all right? Great catch, Jarmel. White squad threatening to score here. Right up the gut is Evan Barber. Getting closer to the end zone here. Second and one. They'll give it off to him on a toss, and he's going to get in the end zone for the touchdown. White squad takes the lead, and the Barber brothers looking pretty good together so far. Let's see what Jeremy Carroll and MJ Gator can do on the orange squad. Halfback. Right up the gut, and MJ Gator is gone. Look at that speed. That is insane. That is track speed right there. Number 26, Cody Lee Jr., the smart safety, could not catch up to him. That is an electric player right there, folks. And this is a really fun spring game. I actually did watch the entire second half. I'm not including that in this game or in this video. What an interception and run back. Oh, my goodness. That was Ewing, the non-subscriber cornerback. Yeah, this spring game was just phenomenal to watch. I, I did watch the second half. There was a lot of great plays. And Chris Numa had a couple interceptions in the second half. But we're going to just take a look at the first half. There's a lot of great action here, too. Number 89 with a nice catch. That was Matt Meeks, the tight end. 6'5", 280. As we see Gator get up towards the one-yard line. And there's a touchdown pass right over the middle, wide open. Was well, number one, Evan Barber, who's trying to sneak in there and get some playing time for the orange team. I swear I put him on the white team, I swear. The computer just likes to do whatever they want with their rosters. Third and 10 for the Barber brothers. And he is crushed as he tries to throw that pass. It hits the grass. Orange team takes over, here's Carroll. And he is a smart quarterback, just running through the defense like it's nothing. And there's a face mask on the play. Carroll hands off to Gator, who gets loose again, picks up eight yards up the gut. He's got 95 yards on three carries. Running out of the shotgun now. Here's Gator, breaking to the outside, past the 20 to 15, and down to the 13-yard line. But there is a holding call. On the offense, that'll drop them back. And they're going to toss it out to him. He's going to get the edge again past the 30, the 20. Back juking and getting to the 15. And there's another face mask penalty. Very sloppy play by the defense. First and goal, Carroll taking a shot to the end zone. Touchdown, Orange team. And what a laser that pass was. Right over the corner's head. And a touchdown reception for... I can't even see that number. I think that was Matt Meeks, tight end. Big fullback trying to run it out of the shotgun. That goes nowhere. And that ends the first quarter, 21-7. And the orange team is on top. White squad is struggling as Barber is sacked by the free safety, Cody Lee Jr. Six foot, 180 pounds, smart free safety. Great awareness, great tackle rating for him. Second and nine for the Orange team. Taking a shot left side on the sideline, and that is caught by 84, non-subscriber receiver. But the drive goes nowhere, and Barber is sacked again, this time by Kyle Rose, the raw, talented defensive end. To try an option here. That ball is fumbled into the end zone and recovered by the defense. And a huge mistake as the defense gets the touchdown. And Ewing, number seven, is just everywhere. 
Not sure where he was on this play. Maybe he forced the fumble. No, that fumble was forced by Cody Lee Jr. My goodness, 28 to 7. Barber Brothers struggling here in the second, and he has to take a shot deep, and that is somehow caught. Oh my goodness. Deep bomb down the field at number 84. And I think the free safety deflected it right into his hand, maybe. What a great reception. Barber looking to throw it. No, he's going to take off, finds an opening, and gets a first down. First and 10. They set up the screen. Jarmel Lewis has it, and he'll get it close to the first down marker, inches shy. Second and inches. Halfback up the middle, breaking a tackle, gets the first down. And that was Evan Barber's, one of his best runs of the day. And they punch it in with a fullback instead of giving it to their speedy halfback. White squad cutting it down to 28 to 14 now. And here's a kick return for number 21, Zay Jones. And he's actually going to fumble the football. And I do believe the uh, orange squad recovered it. So they do get the ball back. This spring game is just so fun to watch, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. As Jeremy Carroll gets crushed and fumbles it. Oh, my goodness. Put his shoulder right into his jaw. Wow. I don't know why Jeremy Carroll keeps trying to run the ball. He's not that fast or athletic. And there was a snap part of the right. Corralled by the punter. And the football is fumbled by Chris Numa. And I'm not sure who recovered this one. You gotta hold on to that ball, Numa. I do believe they recovered it. The white squad, that is. And they did. Let's see what Barber can do here. Taking a shot, and he is picked off. At the 42 yard line. And that was number 17. A I mean, non subscriber cornerback. So, Evan Barber not looking so hot here. Or J.J. Barber, excuse me. Evan Barber's the halfback. My goodness. Carroll brought down by his face. That'll be an easy 15-yard penalty call for the ref. And a first down. Don't worry about the coaches. You can't switch the coaches until you're in the dynasty. And that pass is intercepted by Chris Numa. And he is going to take this one 98 yards to the house. Touchdown, White Squad. They bring themselves within one touchdown. It's an unreal play. Let's take a look here. Just jumps the route so quickly. And that's what makes him a dangerous player. Orange Squad taking a shot over the middle and it's caught for the first down pickup. They're going to try to get downfield to get some more points. And Carroll takes a shot deep and it's caught. Breaking a tackle is Zay Jones to the house. Touchdown, Orange Team. They got a 62-yard touchdown bomb. With 10 seconds to go in the game. Breaks two tackles here. And Cody Lee Jr. had no chance of catching up to him. That is going to be it for the Savannah State Tigers spring game, guys. 35-21. to Jeremy Carroll wins the quarterback battle. And MJ Gator wins the halfback battle. Carroll was 7 of 12, 113 yards, 3 touchdowns, and only 1 interception. He did fumble the ball once. J.J. Barber was only 2 of 9. For 105 yards with two picks. Evan Barber had six carries for 23 yards and a touchdown. He also had a one yard touchdown reception, his only reception of the game. MJ Gator, six for 129 yards and one touchdown today. And Zay Jones, one catch, 62 yards, one touchdown. Jarmel Lewis, one for 53 yards. And the Savannah State Tigers do not have a week one matchup. We will see them week two as they travel to take on the North Carolina A&T State Aggies. I will see you guys tomorrow with the South Dakota State Jackrabbits spring game and the Southern Utah Thunderbirds spring game. Hope you guys are enjoying these so far. That is it for me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy.